Hello dear viewers, today we are bringing you the latest news about Osvaldo Laporte. Since our last report about Osvaldo, he has managed to achieve a lot and he has done some interesting new work. We do not have a lot of rumors about him, nor are we willing to spread any. Osvaldo has taken a part in a series called El Lobo in a role that is typically different from the usual role. His character in that series is named Lisandro Diaz Pojo, an ex-police officer who is pure evil, a man who really loves to kill, and he does so without a single drop of remorse to be seen on his face. Completely cold and emotionless, this was exactly what the actor got so attracted to in the role. Laporte said that such a role was exactly what he was missing, to play a part of the bad evil man, but not the raging, rambling raging maniac, no, rather the calm neighborly fellow who you would never suspect. That part exactly was that which attracted Laporte to the role, and in order to be in that role, Osvaldo had to do a lot of work, he had to come up with everything, he had to invent himself anew, how to move, how to walk, how to talk, behave, breathe, and how to be this new evil man. Adrian Soar, the producer of the show El Lobo, was entirely in agreement with Osvaldo's scientific approach towards making the character possible and alive, and as a result their work turned out to be truly interesting. Later, Osvaldo took on another noticeable role in a series called Sos Mi Hombre, his character, Guido Guerra, a boxer, who first appeared in a series called Campiones 15 years ago and caused quite a rattle across the Argentinian audience. Guido is a real macho, overly rough and separated from sentimental values and feelings, but one can clearly see that his soul bears the scars of a rough life. Supposedly, it's one of Oswaldo's most favorite roles, as Laporte himself said that this role is much of his life, just as well as his beloved life, Viviana Saez is the woman of his life, and that he enjoys both the same. The character Guerra has come back after 15 years for a reason. He was very much alive all these years, thanks to his fan base, who demanded the character's return to television. And besides doing television work, Osvaldo doesn't forget about theater. He became the director of a, of a play called Las Noveas de Travolta, with Viviana playing the lead role. Fifteen years into their marriage seems to have almost no effect on the heat and passion of their love. They are so very close each to each other in their personal life as well as in their professional life, their love does not seem to be there. And as for their daughter, will she go up the stairs her parents did? Will she take all the same steps? Supposedly yes. The 16 year old Jasmine debuted as a model and stated that she loves the field and she would love to act as well. Her parents seem to agree with her and support their daughter in any way they can. Good going girl, not straying from the family values. As for Osvaldo, on the set of one of the episodes of Sos Me Ombre, in a skin where Osvaldo's face gets hit by a taxi's door, he got really hurt. Blood was running everywhere and stitcher, stitches were required to be put on his face. The poor producer almost fainted, but Osvaldo didn't lose heart. He told him, don't worry, at least now I know how to really be that guy. And that's what Oswaldo Laporte is all about, professionalism and being a family man. Hope you enjoyed, subscribe.